Well, a very good evening. And uh, evening tonight from a place called Seacliff Beach. Now, I'm actually down in the south of Scotland again, and I've come, uh, let's see, east, away from Edinburgh. So I'm along the east coast again. And I've come to this place. Let me show you the beach first of all. It's a very beautiful beach, and it does a little horseshoe around there. And you actually have to pay for a privately owned uh, little car park up there to, uh, to be able to park and, and come on down. And families do do that. They come and use this beach here. But let me show you why it's extra special. Right down in here, we have the tiniest, smallest harbour in the whole of Scotland. One of the probably the smallest in the world. And it's actually got it's actually got a boat in it tonight. The last time I was here, the first time I came, uh, this time last year, there was nothing in there. Now the other thing that makes this special is, right up over there, we have the ruins of Tantallon Castle. So from this vantage point, we have a, a superb viewpoint of Tantallon, but also, as you can see, the sun is right above it at the moment, and we've got a couple of hours before sunset, so the sun's going to come down right over here in the northwest. And the idea tonight is to get some uh, pictures just around the, uh, the golden hour, the, uh, the time when the color's in the sky, possibly even a little bit after that as well. But I'm hoping that it's going to light up from there these beautiful cliffs along here too, because there's some gorgeous colors in there. There's greens and reds and all kinds of colors. So that's the idea. Now, there are some things working against us. The first is, right up there to the northwest at the moment, you have quite a lot of uh, cloud, more than was forecast. Uh, second thing is that the, the, there's very strong wind. But luckily, we're down below the cliff here, and it's an offshore wind, so I don't think the wind is going to hamper us. However, if you look up on there, this is all blue sky, so unless the cloud moves in the northwest, then uh, obviously we're not going to have the color in the sky. So, fingers crossed um, that something happens later on, but for now, I'm just going to have a look around and see what we can find. Now one more thing that I should mention, and that is that just offshore over here you've got an island. And on that island you can possibly make out there's a lighthouse. But that is Bass Rock. And Bass Rock is a another spectacular place. And the reason it's spectacular is not for the shape of it, which is kind of nice, it's not for the lighthouse, it's because it's home for hundreds of thousands of gannets. Now, I believe it's the largest gannet um, population in the world, uh, nesting population. And you can actually take boat trips out and around there, or even if you pay quite a lot of money, I think you can land on the island too for a short time. But it's a really spectacular place if you go out there on one of these boat trips because you've got these hundreds of thousands of gannets, and when they are fishing, they're the type of bird which dives from quite a height plunges into the into the sea below to catch the fish that it's looking for for um, for feeding so I think you can probably just about make out I've uh, zoomed in there with the telephoto to do a little uh, a little bit of video and I think you can just about see there all of the the birds swirling around the island but quite a spectacular place
This is the composition I think I'm going to go with. Now, the last time I was here, the tide was a little bit higher and shooting up from up on the rocks over there was better because there was a nice line of the coastline leading round to Tintalan Castle. Unfortunately, it's a little lower tonight and I believe it'll start coming in before uh, sunset, but only just. So it's not going to improve much from that perspective. However, it's left this very large rock pool here and every now and again there's a, a nice reflection in it. We've also got this bright, bright green seaweed here which is kind of nice. And there's a, a strip of rock just leading through into the middle of this huge big rock pool. And I can get the reflection when the wind dies down of Tentalan Castle in the rock pool hopefully with some colored sky and get this gorgeous bit of cliff face there in the in the scene as well so i'm pretty pleased with that and i just need everything to align for me i need the cloud to move out <laughs> i need the wind to drop down a little bit and uh, that's all otherwise it's pretty good got some lovely uh, clouds here away from the Sun it they're they're actually due I guess east so I came for a look along the beach just while I was waiting for the Sun to go down and uh, I've come across this little bit where the the water has actually flowed out much earlier and is now going towards these rocks behind me here but in the foreground we've got these lovely lovely lines in the in the sand and the kind of mimic the opposite direction of the clouds in the sky so it makes for a lovely pattern so I think that shots quite nice and uh, if it comes out I'll uh, put it up but I've uh, got to rush back now because I spent a little bit too much time doing that I've got to go uh, set up for my my other shot So the sun did come out to play and uh, you can see it's just gone behind some clouds there at the moment uh, but it's got a potential of just peeking out again before it goes behind the uh, horizon. Now some of these uh, cliff rocks did light up which was absolutely beautiful at one point and also down here in the rock pool there was a, a few of the ridges actually caught some light which was really nice too but what was very surprising was the, the castle itself, I never saw any light on it at any time and uh, I'm not quite sure why that was. What I did have to do however was to bracket quite heavily. Uh, there was far too much contrast between the rock pool area and the cliffs on this side and the brightness of the sky where the, uh, the sun was lighting the clouds. So that's going to have to take a lot of post-processing. Now once the sun does go down I'm going to hang around and see if some of these clouds that are more above the uh, castle actually light up that would be my preference and then I'll get less contrast as well and the whole scene might actually look pretty good keep it looking at these clouds up behind me here they seem to have been the best ones all night unfortunately my subject is in this direction so I'll just wait another half an hour or so after the um, after the Sun goes down and see what develops 
and then it'll be a night. Okay, so no special light, I'm afraid, over the castle. As soon as that sun went down, the last of the light was there. This big black cloud came across and you can just see the remnants of it now. So nothing on that front. However, there was some quite nice light over here by Bass Rock. So I made a quick dash over there to uh, the rocks on the, the shore, got the telephoto lens out and made uh, what is probably more of a minimalist minimalist shot of the bass rock uh, put the timer or the exposure on about a minute and that's completely flattened out the sea and also those clouds in the background have uh, streaked across so i've got some bands of color behind the rock itself with the rock uh, stationary of course and then i think there should be a, a pinpoint of light from the the lighthouse as well so quite hopeful on that one i'm going to call it a night now um, before it gets dark I'll get back up there to the car and uh, wish you a very good evening so bye for now we'll see you on the next episode